I have a tiny obsession. I am obsessed with personality types. Whether it's the Meyer Briggs uh, personality assessment or the classical four personality types based on the humors that the ancients thought were a thing, I do so enjoy placing different people into convenient, categorized archetypes. It makes my brain happy to think that people can be reduced down to relatively simple, easy to understand types, and that in order to relate to different people, you just have to understand who they are and what makes them tick. Granted, I realize that human nature is in reality not quite so easy to pin down, but to make my head not hurt and to try to get along with other people better, I'm just gonna go right on ahead separating people into their various personality type boxes. And nowhere have I come across a more elegant, more accurate, uh, at least when applied to me, version of the personality types than in the four nations of the Avatar, the last airbender world. I mean, it's divided into four right there, so neatly. You have your waterbenders, your earthbenders, firebenders, and airbenders. They each have their own way of doing things, of looking at the world, of reacting to problems and finding solutions. Waterbenders tend to go with the flow and be very flexible and adaptable, to a lot of changing situations. Earthbenders are stubborn, they're resistant to change, very happy to maintain the status quo, but incredibly persistent when it comes to dealing with problems. Firebenders are wild and unpredictable, aggressive and passionate, and invest 100% of everything they are into what they do. Then airbenders, they are the great diplomats, uh, not wanting to cause any kind of confrontation, but very clever, uh, always looking for an easier way to do things. They don't like to face their problems head on, but they like to find another solution that's easier and simpler. I am definitely an airbender, and I am constantly reminded of Aang's struggles as he tries to learn how to earthbend. He struggles with it because earthbending is his polar opposite. It is diametrically opposed to the way he views the world. When bending the earth, you can't just find another way to do it. There are no clever solutions or other angles to approach from. You just have to do it. You have to buckle down and you have to be tougher than the earth. So where am I going with this? Well, my approach to life is that of an airbender. If something doesn't come easily to me, I don't like it, and I think there's something wrong with the way that I'm dealing with it. That maybe if I come at it from another angle or try some other solution, maybe I'll find out how to make it easy. But there are some things in life that just aren't easy, and they aren't meant to be easy. Writing is one of them. Uh, I enjoy it, I really, really do, but only when the words are flowing seemingly out of their own accord, and the characters and images are springing fully formed out of my mind and onto the page. I only like writing when it's easy. And then when it's hard, and it frequently is, I try to find easier ways to do the work. Or more likely, I'll just avoid the problem altogether until it becomes easy again. But that's no way to live a life or to make a living. And it's incredibly hard when the living that I've chosen to make is to think things up and write them down. So, I will endeavor to earthbend. And not only that, I will put myself out there. My biggest obstacle so far in getting published has been myself and my own fear of rejection or failure, of it just not being easy. I'm just gonna send crap out. I don't care how bad it is, I don't care how many people it has to go through until someone sees it and likes it. I'm just going to put my head against the stone and make it happen. That's the only way to go forward. So, Corey, uh, which Avatar nation do you think you're from? Uh, I'm definitely an airbender. Uh, I'd be interested to see uh, what you think you are. Anybody else who's watching, um, if you have a comment, if you want to say who you think you are, put a comment down below. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Corey, I will hear from you Monday.